Hi, I'm John Gilstrap, author of the Jonathan Grave Thriller series, and in this episode of A Writer's View, we're going to talk about something that every writer encounters at one time or another, and in some cases, like myself, it's something we encounter in every single book we write. It goes by several names. We can call it the Page 200 Syndrome. We could call it Writer's Block. We could call it the Second Act Blues, but the one I prefer the most is the Muddled Middle. The thing is, you know, you get to, this, to the middle of a book and then suddenly the hard work starts. I hear all the time at writers' conferences and at workshops when I'm there, uh, I start my books, but I never can finish them. I have all kinds of stories that are started and not finished. Another version of this that I hear a lot is I finished the story, but it's not long enough. I don't have, I need to f somehow fill out in, in the middle. It ended too quickly. Well, like I said, it happens to everybody at one time or another, and I think there are several sources and solutions for this, and that's what we're going to talk about today. So let's start with the most benign of them. In every book, um, when I get to I, page 200, give or take, I realize that I'm bored with the story. Excitings are, excuse me, beginnings are exciting, and endings are exciting, but the middle is where all the hard work happens. So there is nothing easier than to walk away from a project in the middle like that and then go and start something else. Often, that's the point where I'll be drawn away to start outlining the next book, simply because it's all about beginnings and endings, right? And, and the, the development doesn't happen until I get into it. The reality is you have to power through this. Um, there's, you've got to take a professional attitude toward your writing, and if just because it gets hard doesn't mean that it's, it's time to, uh, to stop. Now, that is the most benign. I do think it happens with, with every author when they get to that stage of a book. But then there are the less benign issues that may very well be structural. For example, you might not know enough about your book, what it is, or what the character motivations are. Um, if, if you have not done outlining, and I'm not a big outliner myself, but I know a lot of authors who are, uh, if you haven't outlined, it's entirely possible to get somewhere in the middle of the book and realize, oh my goodness, I don't know how to connect the beginning to the end. So it starts getting all muddled and difficult and it's, and it's time to, to walk away. It could be that maybe your novel is really a novella. And you've told as much of the story, you've, you've stretched the story and told as much of the story as you can, and it's time to end it and move on to, to the next project. The one thing you never want to do, ever, 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 is pad a story just for the sake of padding. Trust me, everybody's going to realize it. Editors are going to see it. Certainly readers are going to see it. Uh, th there's, a, there's a sweet spot for how long a story needs to be, and that's how long your shory, story should be. And I know one writer, very successful writer, uh, who's, who's a compulsive outliner. In fact, he won't begin page one until he knows each of the plot points, each of the plot beats from page one to the end of, of the last chapter. That is certainly not me. For me, writing, I'm more of what they call a pantser, as in seat of the pants, um, because I, I like to enjoy the story explore the story as, as I'm, I'm writing it. But then that's also a tactic that can lead you down some uh, dead ends. You know, I also think that when you get to the middle and it's not working, it has to do with a really pernicious problem. And that is you're thinking about your story the wrong way. At conferences and at workshops, I hear all the time some version of my story is about a plague that threatens to destroy the world. Or my story is about how China brings economic ruin to the United States. Well, okay, those are premises for stories, but if that's how you're thinking about your story, I think you're destined for some real trouble. Because stories are about characters doing interesting things in interesting ways. Your story about the plague or your story about the, the economic crisis is really about how characters are facing these issues and overcoming them. So this, when I'm in a conference setting and people are in this, this troubled space and their story has stopped working for them, 
I would say 80% of the time, maybe even more than that, the problem is a poor choice in their selection of point of view in determining whose story they're actually telling. Now I'm going to discuss point of view in a, uh, in a future video, uh, but essentially point of view is determining whose story you're telling, who is the main character, and, and as, as they're progressing the plot from the beginning to the end, what is it that they have to overcome and what are their challenges. I think if you lay that out with, with characters in mind instead of plot points in mind, you'll find that the, the middle gets a little less muddled as you go along. In the end, remember that only you can finish the story that you started. First and foremost, irrespective of the source of your so-called writer's block, force yourself through to the end. Even if the story doesn't work, even if the story goes no place, at least you'll have the privilege and the honor and the pride of knowing that you saw the project all the way through to the end. Trust me, you'll be glad that you did. Well, that's all I've got for Writer's View this time. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can see the thing over my shoulder if you're watching on YouTube, but not if you're watching on Facebook. And uh, please follow me on Twitter, where my handle is at John Gilstrap. Like me on my Facebook page, which is John Gilstrap Author. And uh, please visit my website and join my mailing list at www.johngilstrap.com. But even if you don't do any of that stuff, Please take care of yourselves, and please keep reading. I'm John Gilstrap.